So today and possibly the next few days, I am going to work on this. So I'm recording in my room because outside there's some construction, but um, my birds are in the room with me, so it's going to be pretty noisy. Let's hope I can record something decent out of this. I actually can't remember when I got this thing. It has been with me for quite some time and it's just been in a box and I just I wanted to do this for such a long time but I just didn't find the time to do it thought maybe I should find time to do it so here I am right now everything is in Chinese maybe I got it from Taobao or like one of those random shop that sells this kind of stuff in this box, you see a manual and the manual has all the information about this little room. It's quite a, quite a neat little manual. They show you everything step by step. I think that's really amazing for people who have never tried it before or don't really know where to start. Um, this is a great, great thing. I love the fact that they teach you how to make a light. I think there's a music box thing. We'll see how, how it goes later on. But yeah, this is, this is quite good. And then there's like uh, pieces of paper that I think kind of like templates so you can see these are like the wall templates and then there are some books over here <laughs> there's Harry Potter and dictionary which is quite funny and then <laughs> some computer and and a really old phone that I don't really know what it is these are the pages of the book I think some of them and some other templates that we will know what it is later on there are two bags of materials one bag is all the small little things i suppose and these are the main structure of the room which is pretty pretty small i thought it would be bigger but this is great they even give you a bottle of glue which is pretty nice of them because people usually will have to get their own right? i wonder if it's still usable i'll try to use it anyway but yeah so let's get started! <laughs> This is the second day and as you can see, it's turning out okay. The chair is probably dried. I'm going to take it out later. Um, I think I took about 9 hours. I started from... <laughs> Hello. I started from 2pm to 11. Hopefully, I will be able to finish the rest today. Yay! Hello. Oi. Oi, 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 oi! No! 
I probably will have around 9 hours like yesterday so we'll see how it goes. Let's go. So this is what I have after about 9 hours of working yesterday. I was caught up with some stuff in between so I feel like I didn't do much yesterday. But um, I finished the bed, the pillows for the bed, heart shaped pillow. The bed was provided by them, there's, there's this foot rest or something that the bed is on top of. And also the drawer beside the bed and I'm really amazed at how they asked us to build the, the lamp and the flower vase. So. It was quite interesting to see how it all comes together but um, I didn't really like the knob that they wanted me to do which has like a flower thing at the bottom of the pole so I just used the pole and dumped the flower thing away <laughs> and I also made the computer and this computer table <laughs> this thing was super funny because I actually thought that it was a back of the phone or something but it's actually a computer uh, so funny, I thought it was a phone! Oh my god! Anyway, I also made this little flower. The vase is actually just a bead which was really amazing. Like, I think it's really creative on uh, how they make it work and I'm really learning a lot. So, um, today I have lesser time than yesterday. There's quite a lot of tiny tiny things to be added in. So it looks fuller and you know, really looks like a house. Hopefully I won't be that distracted today and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so it's 6 o'clock now. I'm about halfway through what I wanted to do today and this is what I have so far. So I made the chair, the table and things on top and like the clock over there. Some random, I think they're supposed to be perfumes, I don't know. <laughs> and just wanted to kind of show you guys what's on the table if you're interested. So this is where I work. Right now I am cutting a lot of um, papers for the book. These are the books that I've done so far and this area is where I store all the things that I've already used and I put them into little bags so it's easier for me to, to take things out if I need to and I think there's only these few things here that are left that I need to use later on. This is actually really how <laughs> How messy my table usually are. I know, I know the camera looks like it's very clean and stuff, but usually it's just this spot where I work. And right here, I have this little masking tape that helps me to catch stuff so it doesn't fly all over the place because my fan is right over there and it blows stuff all around all the time. And right over here, I have all the packages from the kit and. All the papers are usually stuffed in here so it doesn't get flown all over the place. And this is a tiny rubbish bin. <laughs> My Gure Tama is just over there hanging out with me. <laughs> and right over here, I have this IKEA stool that I put random things on my planner with my mug of melted juice. 
I am actually almost done but it's just a lot of books that I need to make and the paintings on the wall so yeah let's get it done all the things that I need to do and this is the end product Yay! I am really glad I took the time to do this I try to follow a kit or whatsoever I usually will learn a lot of things and in this case it's the same it took me really long to find out where you can buy this but um, managed to find it and the link will be in the description below if you're interested and if you search miniature kits on Amazon you will see that there's actually a lot of different kinds of kits that are really nice so I don't really know why I got this. Why? Why did I choose this? <laughs> oh my god. But you know, I still learn a lot from it. I've never done this before. I've never made like a room. Of course I did the Hawker Centre diorama, right? But I used a lot of different materials and um, I've never really done like a miniature dollhouse per se and the way they make the sofas and the chairs and the bed and the furniture and you know just seeing how all these things are set up together and how they show you the instructions to, to make it work I think it's pretty amazing I think this kit and all the other kits that are available are really good like they know what they're doing and the instructions are really clear they even have photos you don't need the written instructions to do it you can actually see from the photo and I think that's already enough if you want to give it a try I, I think you can consider investing in one of the kits some things to take note of would be that the glue that they provided was probably stored in there for really long it still works but I used all of it on the wallpaper <laughs> uh, I didn't have enough for the rest of the stuff I do have my own white glue and it's actually glue specifically for wood I bought it when I was making the Hawker Center diorama and it's not cheap but it's really good and it really adheres everything really well especially wood to wood so if you want you can consider getting it but it's really quite pricey um, so I think any wood glue would work but um, I still recommend getting like super glue or something because there are some things that you need to attach really quickly that the white glue takes too long to dry the instructions even if you don't understand Chinese they are actually measurements what item is what and they tell you the measurements so you don't take the wrong thing in case they are similar items for other stuff I was really amazed that they measured everything and give you the measurement like there are some things that are off a little bit but uh, most of the time it's pretty accurate there are things that they provided that are a bit off like one of the bed leg is not straight the way they store the materials the cloth are like really folded you can see the bed sheet is not straight right because I didn't iron because I don't have an iron at home but um, you could iron them or you could buy cloth that you actually like and use them instead because I really I really don't like the ones they provided I mean this is the first time I'm making a kit from scratch right so I wanted to 
I wanted to follow the instruction step by step. I didn't want to make my you know own thing, so I didn't really put anything else. But next time, I think if I want to make a kit, right, I'll probably get nicer wallpaper and also get nicer cloth. Like now, I think if I go shopping and I see cloth, I probably will get them because it's so it's actually really easy to make all these little things. So other than all the materials that are given, you still need some tools. So I will list down all the tools that I personally have and use during the process of making this kit. So I finished the whole thing in 3 days. The first 2 days took me 9 hours and the last day took me 12 hours apparently. So of course I didn't really minus off my lunch and dinner if I did maybe 6 hours off the learning hours, I don't know. In my case, I feel like I took a lot more time because I have to put everything properly for the camera and I have to record everything. So I think if you are doing this without all this hassle, you might be able to finish it within like 1 or 2 days. Compared to making everything from scratch yourself like cutting the wood to size and all the R&D this is really much easier and if you want to try out I really recommend it because I think it's really great for beginners I really love the fact that I learned how to wire this I am so so excited to work on other rooms myself like one of my goal at the end of this year is to create a miniature door house from scratch like a house it's not even just a room it's a house and there are a lot of other rooms. I bought this book because of the Hawker Centre diorama and it basically teaches you how to make everything from scratch like what kind of like what are the measurements of the wood and there are even some furnitures that they teach you how to do it and I want to follow the book step by step again just to learn everything and learn how they put up everything together and you know have my own mini dollhouse that I can keep adding stuff to or remove things and I think this would be a really really good project so it will be a long project and this has really got me started and I, I plan to do this again. Like I plan to talk to you guys and go through the process, like where I order my stuff and what kind of things I bought and how much they spend and I think this will be really helpful and it's a way for me to journal the process and I really hope that you'll be as excited as I am to see how I make everything. From scratch but in the future i think i will still try to work on this room i will try to make furniture for it and uh, make it nicer so this is definitely not a wasted effort all the big things are actually blue tech down so it doesn't move around as much and i still can carry it around um, except for the chair because it's too tiny but um yeah blue tech is your friend if you want to play around with it if you want to adjust everything and you don't have to glue the furniture down i hope this video helped you if you are considering making a miniature dollhouse or like a miniature room but if you make the kit please let me know i would love to see what you've done with it and hope to see you guys around again bye